We know that COVID-19 hospitalizations have reached a record high in Michigan. As the surge continues, hospitals are overburdened. Mercy Health St. Mary's in Grand Rapids has 76 COVID positive patients. They're at 94% capacity. In Muskegon, Mercy Health is at 105% capacity with 57 COVID patients. Spectrum Health has said they have 438 COVID patients in their health system. The surge comes as the world watches for yet another new variant. Researchers detected the Omicron variant north of the border in Canada and several other countries. They've not yet found any cases closer to home yet. 13 on your side's Charlie Tinker joins us now live with a closer look at this ever evolving situation. Charlie. Well, Nick, every week it seems like, you know, we're talking about topping a new record and it's the same uh, for that new number, which immediately counted as Spectrum's highest patient count ever. It's as hospitals uh, here quite literally run out of beds. When it comes to this uh, new variant out there, the Omicron variant, none detected, as you just said, in the U.S. just yet, which moved to reintroduce travel restrictions, nonetheless, as a precaution. The variant's reportedly more transmissible, but an easier go in general, a bit more mild without some of those hallmark symptoms like that loss of taste and smell. Locally, we're learning from Spectrum, they don't have the ability to test specifically for this. Uh, while they can tell you, yes, you're positive in a general sense, a state or regional lab would have to say this is this variant or that variant. I can tell you what's already out there is enough cause for concern. In the past 24 hours, our positivity was 28.8, which I believe is also a new high for a single day uh, positivity for us. And so uh, uh, COVID is very real, very present, uh, very much impacting all of our hospitals. Yes, at this moment, Spectrum says it has 106 patients in its intensive care unit. 95% of the COVID positive group, either there or on vents, were unvaccinated. The hospital really hammering that home.